Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar on Plant 3D 2017 New Features. Bruce Trevena is my name. I'm with Cat Group Australia. And today we're going to look at uh, new features of Plant 3D 2017, PNID Painter and Bender's Pipe. And a couple of features that were an extension in the extension release for 2016, but now are in 2017. Equipment Trim and PCF Department. We'll also look at some Cat Group content that uh, I think you'll find useful. So let's get started. And we'll start with the PNID Painter. So I've got PNID, and you can see I have a PNID with primary and secondary process lines. I'll just change my workspace to PNID. And my primary lines and inline components are as they are nominated in my project setup. But we have in 2017 a new feature, PNID Painter. And this allows us to nominate colour by different, and we can nominate colour styles by different properties. For instance, we have colour by service or colour by size. And if you nominate the style that you would like, you can then control the colouring for the uh, for the individual sizes. So colour by size, colour by service, nominate the colour for each service. Now we can introduce some new styles here. We can hit add and we can say color by status. And then this will bring us up our status list up down here. And we can nominate what colors we'd like for a particular status. So existing, let's change that to gray. And here you get a preview of the appearance or a white background or a dark background drawing. Now, service and size. Service is a, a pipe line group, PID line group property. Size is a pipe segment property. So these two, two styles will apply to pipe and inline fittings. Status is a property that can apply to equipment or to line or inline fittings. And we can also Introduce another one specifically for equipment. We can add type. So let's say color by type. And we'll allocate the type list. So now we have color by type style as well. So we've set up our style format this and OK and leave project set up for now. And now in our PNID we have a new tab in our home room, PNID Painter. And you can turn PNID Painter on and off with this toggle and you can eliminate the style that you would like to use. So I've got colour by service selected there. Click on Painter and you can see my lines have colored themselves by service. And if I change to status, you can see that the lines have changed again. And if I pull up properties, you can see that the status for this line is existing, which is as I changed it in the project setup. Status for this for the red lines is demolition. So that's quite handy. And just to confirm the equipment, color change status by type. Paint property is on. Or change color by status for the equipment. So you can see this pump is existing pump. a new pump. Status new. So that's PNID Painter. It's uh, quite a nice new feature. 
Now in 3D, we have a, a, a couple of new features. We've got PCF to pipe, which is part of the 2016. Let's just open our 3D piping model. Uh, there was a parallel line here that I had routed, run a PCF export, and now I'll bring it back in again with PCF import. I'll just change my workspace to 3D piping. PCF to pipe. Here's my PCF file. I'll just move this out of the way so we can see it generate. There's the line. Great pipe. And there you can see the pipe work has come in. Now, when I exported that PCF file, there was a pipe support on it and it hasn't brought that pipe support in, so the pipe supports will need to be reinstated. A new feature with 2017 is bend to pipe. Bend as pipe. Let's go back to project setup to have a look at that. Three D settings. Pipe bend settings. So previously we had pipe bends available, but they were a fitting, and they'd be itemized as a separate item on the OS matrix. Now we can treat bends as pipe. Select this radio button. We can nominate the radius for the bends. So I'm just, just setting that here as 10 diameters. We can nominate the lead-in, lead-out lengths if it was going to be a fitting. And the lead-in, lead-out lengths by default are equivalent to the FOD of the pipe, the nominal diameter of the pipe. So I've checked this radio button saying I want to treat bends as pipe. I can apply and OK. So I'll select the pipe spec. Now you can see here that CAD Group has built these pipe specs to each of the piping schedules. But let's just run in Shed 40. Pipe. I'll check the route of pipe bends button first. So you can see you can put bend to bend without the straight lengths. Select that. It's all one piece of pipe. Let's round nice metric. Material just has the one entry. And uh, isometric. Now the length of pipe in these in incremental dimension lengths will be greater than the length of pipe nominated here because the true length of pipe is following the radius of the bend. Right, let's have a look at equipment trim. So the platforms on these columns are all modelled with the equipment trim feature now. So if I click that piece of equipment, modify equipment, you can see that I have platforms nominated on here. And you can define the start 
uh, orientation and the the moment of rotation around the around the vessel. So if we go to the upper platform, you can see that the rotation is 225 degrees. So if I set that back to 180. You can see that that platform has been trimmed back now. Now the additional additional items that are available in equipment trim: skirts, saddles, lugs, legs, body flanges, and platforms. That's quite a handy, handy feature. The ladders are part of the platform. You can dominate the length of the ladder. I'll just show you that quickly again. So the platform, and there's the platform height and the ladder length. H1 is the ladder length. The H1 is the same as the platform height instance for the lower platform. Now there's a, another now Now that's about it for new features in Pine 3D. I want to show you some of the content that uh, Cat Group have developed now. And we'll start with the steel. So this steel, the American Steel catalogue has been updated and includes one. The Australian Steel catalogue was developed about four years ago and hasn't been updated and weight had never been added to it. So CAD Group have added weight and we've added the functional functionality to calculate the cumulative weight from the linear weight. So I'll just demonstrate that. Edit structure. I've just filtered out the non-AS shape standard. We've added some additional profiles. We've added rail, I've added round, and flat and square. So we have plate and square billets. Also added the Australian standards for material. So hot roll sections, rail, hollow sections, walkways, plate, and the material grades. And also on the profiles, I've added width, which could be handy when you're when you're laying out steel work, just to so that you get a clear indication of the width of the steel profile, what the clearances should be for universal columns, universal beams. So just to show you how the weight works, properties, you can see the linear weight for this profile, 610, 229 UB, is 125, the descriptor has the weight in it, the thin kilograms, and the current weight is 291, so if I grip that and extend it, you'll see that the accumulated weight there increased. So that works quite nicely. Now another, so the structural catalogue sits in CPAC Common, it doesn't need to be copied to the project. The, each project reads the structural catalogue from its um, shared content location. 
that's similarly with nozzles. Cat group have added quite a few nozzles to the default nozzle catalog. And I'll just demonstrate some of that content here. So here we have a 2500 pound raised face nozzle in inch units. So if I change my spec to a spec that I know has 2500 pound nozzles, which is my Chevron 160. I'll beg your pardon. Drop that on there. Now let's have a look at the bolting. And I have my one inch 127 long bolt. 127 because it's done, made the length calculation in imperial units, but this is a metric project. If this was an imperial project, that would be a nice even imperial length. Now if we delete this, and I want to use a 2500 pound flange in a metric project, but I would like to have M bolts with nice even metric lengths. We can do that because under millimeters, I've also added the ASME and table flange ratings. So millimeters, 2500 pound raised face. Now I'll select my metric spec, which has metric bolt definitions in it, M bolt definitions. And I'll take a 2500 pound flange, drop it on there, and have a look at the bolting. And you can see now I've got an M27 with a nice even 175 millimeter length. And this length is being read from my metric bolt size, bolt length mapping table in my catalog. Now also in this nozzle catalog, I'll just take it back to inches for a second. I've added the table flanges here as well. If you're working in imperial units and you want to use table flanges, and uh, AS2129 for example, DEFHJMR. Now, you can also change the connection type. Bevel seat female, bevel PSM, bevel seat male, beveled end, and the beveled end I've incorporated each of the schedules. Just in case you have schedule as a uh, connecting requirement in your connection settings. Grooved ends, again with the schedules. H line and HDI. HDI line, tank ferrules, female and male. I've got a studded outlet. Let's just have a look at this. Inches, 2,500 pound lug. Just need to adjust the length. So there we've got a studded outlet that we can connect to. We also have plain end, soccer boiled end, and the soccer boils have. 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 pound threaded with 2,000, 3,000, 6,000 and tri clamp of course tank, tank ferrules so there's our tri clamp connection
other spec content that we have, as I mentioned, we have the schedules developed, pipe and fittings for each of the schedules in Imperial and metric. Tube press. And I've got pipe bends turned on. A series of fittings for tube press. Let's just change the view scale here. All of the two press fittings uh, develop from parametric objects. So there's no block based elements. Other spec content that we have, such as tri clamp. Is based from parametric objects from the default pharmaceutical content and additional 3D objects. Let's make sure we get a metric version of that tri-clamp catalog. And there's a number of different clamp configurations to, to utilize. And bevel seat. And on the way through to bevel seat, we, uh, I'll just show you we have John Perry. IPS. These are all pharmaceutical dairy industry connection connection um, standards. H line, HDI line with male and female ferrules. DC, size of DSM, and bevel seat. We'll see male and female connections. Get in here an O ring. Thirty eight point one millimeter ID pipe. So, as can see, we have quite a few three D block based objects to give visual, visual, visually compelling uh, output. Seat by tri clamp as well. Tri clamp by BSM and tri clamp by BSF. And the connection settings for these have all been incorporated. Show you that. Okay. 
connection settings. Level seat, H line, tri clamp has been added as one of the default configurations. And compound joints, added couplings. Ferrules are a coupling, and the tri clamp are a fastener. And just one more spec I'd like to show you, that's the cable ladder. Let's zoom out here a little bit. Based on the Unistrut profiles. Nominator size, I'll take a medium, medium width, so the size is the width of the ladder. I'll take a 450. And the, the ladder straights come in various hard coded lengths. Now let's put a flat bend on there. And you can see that it's dropped the fasteners on there for us. And that fastener can be substituted for a node or can be left as a fastener, a plate fastener. And we have a look at the properties. Well, let's just have a look at the properties of the bend first. You can see that there's a unique item code there for the bend, as there is for the, for the straight and for the fastener. So as you build your cable ladder, you're accumulating each of the components that you've used to, to bring that ladder together. So there's no, there's no Python scripting in this, so you can't drag the, uh, the ladder links, but it does work quite effectively just by building them piece by piece. So there's more that I could probably demonstrate today, but I think that's enough. Uh, thank you for your attention. And we've looked at, let's just go quickly back, NID Painter, Bender's Pipe, and uh, new to 2017, but previously in the extension for 2016, Equipment Trim and PCF to Pipe, and Category Content. Any, any additional information, please contact myself, Peter Ravina at catgroup.com.au. Yes, three.